Welcome to a round of 19 match between Devious One and Food. So, the, for this week, this is the 60 Grassy format with uh, all spells enabled. Looks like we're going to start the game off with some fairly defensive play. So, Food had the opportunity to throw something in and, and get going, and we see Devious also opting to set up Vice, go straight for damage out of the starting gate. We have an exchange of Sylphs. We're going to check in with the level 3 spells right now and see that both players are running both uh, Frost level 3s, which could be very exciting. Uh, will we see a Frost familiar? Probably not. Frost, I don't consider to be a book that's worth investing the 100 HP on the familiar, especially on Grassy Hills where you don't usually need the extra mobility afforded by the familiar spell, and you definitely only rarely ever need the ability to... Uh, oh. you know, it's very rare that you need the ability to walk on water here. It's not like, uh, it's not like you're going to be fighting water lords and full seas and a whole lot of them. It's... So... I, even if they're running full books, I, I doubt we're going to see familiars. In fact, I think running full books would be a little bit short-sighted in this format. Looks like Food is trying to carefully position the Sylph onto something. Uh, possibly the head of this tower. Probably going to want to take that Sylph a few steps back and go for a long jump as opposed to a high jump. But, you know, Food going to persevere. 24 seconds still on the clock. We, by, by goodness, uh... You know, someone needs to uh, someone needs to help this Sylph out. In the Sylph v Sylph battle, we see that the Sylph of Devious One is going to win out. You know, first turn advantage to the Sylph in the Red Trunks has now a platform to which they can stand on to get going. Has uh, gotten themselves very close, uh, upfront and personal. One may even say intimate with our friend Food. Going to position to the other side. What are you doing over there, friend? Going to position to the head of. And then we see the Aura of Decay. So, I like this play because it means that uh, Food now has two minions to deal with. One in the undead Sylph, and then the other in the very much alive Sylph. And while you may claim, well, that was just a waste of a turn because Devious still only has one Sylph, getting the Aura of Decay and a minion to boot kind of nice. Looks like he's going to try and keep that Sylph alive for a little bit longer, or just distract oh, Mr. Food. And now has summoned a Frost Giant. And so the Frost Giant is, uh... It's a bit curious. So, you know, it's going to be using Ice Ball to detower, unless the Undead Sylph's going to go for it. We see a mud ball come out from food. Very interesting strategy given that anything that would have struck that Sylph would have killed it instantly, so Drain Bolt probably would have been my spell of choice. Definitely one that has uh, more memorable physics and a little bit easier to land if you're not comfortable with the physics of mud ball. Looks like this undead Sylph is going to be going for a ride back into the Order of Decay. The snowman is going to position itself in a weird way. I don't quite get where it's standing. But the Sylph Arrow will be used to both detower and then yeet our friend Food into the water. Now, Food, unfortunately, doesn't have any safe places to teleport to. Decides to teleport to a spot where Arcane Flash or Bind Whip will both be very effective in sending them into the drink. Looks like uh, we may see another Sylph Arrow attempt, which they do have a fair bit of knockback, so this could work. I'm surprised we don't see a flash or a whip, but I stand to be uh, I stand to be corrected. Devious One spending some pretty serious time on getting this set up properly. We see uh, it may not be a sink today, and instead it is a snowball. Snowball dealing minimal damage. I I didn't track that one exactly, but it was probably around 15. It heals up the Sylph only for it to die to a vine whip. Now. Food's position has not changed, and Devious's ability to sync with an Arcane Flash or Vine Whip remains the same as well. We could see 
other spells do it as well, but given Devious's positioning, it doesn't seem like the drink is on the table right now. And in fact, it's going to be a comet dealing very, very significant amounts of damage. I think that was 130. Our friend Food has, uh, has to do something to respond. I'm not going to pretend like they're in a good spot right now. They're actually in a very, very bad way. I mean, you're, you're looking at available spells. We know that Ice Tower is available. Looks like it's going to be a Clock Tower instead, which may have been a wasted turn, given that Snowball could come in to, uh, to bring it home. Um, you know, we could... Yeah, Snowball's going to be used to detower, and that's a quick exchange of spells that... Uh, neither of which are particularly influential. Food's gonna go for the Ice Tower now and continue. Oh, we, we see a Vine Whip. I don't quite know why. I'm not gonna assume that was a misplay. I'm gonna assume that was uh, very intentional. Frost Shards out from Devious One. Looks like we're gonna be bringing this one home real soon unless Food has some plan to stay alive. That plan may be hiding away and getting into an ice castle. However, another Frost Shards to the dome will quickly rectify that situation and get on with the day. And we do see it, Frost Shards going to deal another 75 and we are now back to the same position that we were two turns ago. Uh, less some health and less two towers to hide in. And so Fu goes into the Haymaker Comet, dealing very minimal damage. I believe that was somewhere around 32. And Devious is going to take this. Well, I, I guess we can't call it too early. Oh, we do see the full Frost Smiller. That's uh, that is a Frost Arcanus achievement, if this were a Raider King. And uh, shoutouts to Devious1 for bringing it home with the Dream Bolt.